Hello, and welcome to the UCI Medical Education Simulation Center. My name is Dr. Cameron Ricks, and I'll be taking you on a brief tour of our simulation center. I am the director of the simulation center here at UC Irvine. So the simulation center at UC Irvine has been open for approximately 10 years now, and we have about 3,000 square feet of simulation space. Participants uh, range at this simulation center from high school students, EMTs, but primarily it is our medical students, residents, and faculty who come here to participate in simulation. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our simulation center and the facilities we have, and then I'll go into a little bit about what you can expect when you come to the simulation center. So this is an example of one of our uh, mannequins we use during simulation. This is our Laird All 3G, one of three adult mannequins we have. We also have two pediatric mannequins and two infant. So these mannequins are very lifelike. And when you come to the simulation center, you will interact with the mannequins just as you would a, a real adult. And then we can go ahead and interact with the patient. The patient breathes and blinks and their pupils dilate. So in many ways, it is like a, a real human. In addition, we're able to put vital signs up here. So as a participant, you'll see that you do, see, you do feel like this is a, a real case with a, a patient, the vital signs. And uh, it, the environment will look oftentimes a lot like the clinical environment. You'll see here we have one of the code carts. We have one of the vents here that can be used. And we also have a cart here with, for uh, emergency equipment or a cart like you might have in an emergency department. Once, the, once you participate in one of the simulations and the simulation has then been completed, we stop and we'll, the participants will then take a seat over here and uh, we'll, there'll be a guided debriefing with a clinician. And it's during this time that the real learning occurs. There's a number of environments here in our simulation center. Over there, we have a room which can be used as an OB suite. This is one of our ward rooms or one of our emergency department rooms. Where these chairs are can also be turned into the similar ward room. Right here is a wall that can come down and separate them. And around the corner there is the operating room. I'm going to take you over, and we'll take a look at the operating room now. So this is our uh, virtual simulation room where operating room simulations take place. We have a variety of participants who come to the simulation center that range from um, medical doctors, but when you have surgeons, anesthesiologists, and surgical nurses, they'll come in this room to participate in simulations. So Something that is, we, part of what we try to do here is make it as lifelike as possible. And you'll see that this is the anesthesia machine that we would uh, traditionally have in the operating room. And it operates just like any um, normal uh, anesthesia machine. We are able to um, manage the patient's airway if needed and use this anesthesia machine to simulate anesthesia. And uh, similar to the medical ward, we also have the vital signs here on this screen. So if we work with a surgical nurse and a surgeon, we're on the same page, just like you would be in the operating room, and we can interact just as you would. Sometimes we put up the surgical drapes, and we'll have a, a, a case underway. We also have all the normal medications you'd have here in the operating room, and you'll see that we have the booms and the lights in the same manner. Over here, we have surgical equipment. And we have a C-arm just to make it as lifelike as possible. Participants uh, who are not actually in the simulation will be behind me here in our debriefing room. And there will be a video going on where they can observe what's happening here in the simulation room. And following that, We'll go into the debriefing room to discuss what occurred during the case. Thank you for joining us on the tour of the UCI Simulation Center.